Um, this question is a combination of properties of circles and arc length and circles. Uh, arc length and sector, sorry. Okay, uh, in case some of you, you're, you cannot see the shading too clearly, uh, there's a shading involved. So they actually shade the whole diagram. So the whole diagram is shaded. So it's like this. So literally the whole diagram is shaded. Okay. So that one will be needed for the second part. So right now, the first part is we are just focusing on getting the angle BAD. Okay. So usually if you just start off by looking at the question, don't try to do everything first. Go and plan it out first. Uh, so what I will do is, so for example, I will see isosceles triangle. And also I actually see a radius and tangent. So I put in whatever I can to, to see first. Okay, then I make it a plan first. So I put in whatever I see and then I need to plan out how to get my angle. So in this case, if I want my angle, I actually need the isosceles triangle. So I plan to find this angle first. I plan to find this angle first. I plan to find these two angles. Okay, once I can find these two angles, the final step will be the angle in the same segment. So you can see that this is the cyclic quadrilateral. So the ultimate plan is to execute the cyclic quadrilateral to find this part. So in order to execute the angle in the opposite segment, I need the isosceles triangle first. So where can I get the isosceles triangle, right? So I'm going to get it in the right angle triangle. So just now I got the right angle triangle. So I'm going to get it from here. So you do need to explain why this is a 90 degree first. So if you just uh, focus on this right angle triangle, you can actually found, find this one. If you use angle sum of triangle in the green one, you can find BOC. So I'm not going to show you the calculation. You can look at my working. So after I get 54, my isosceles triangle is more or less soft. So after I find 54, my isosceles triangle is more or less soft. So if I can find this to be 54, if I apply my uh, angle sum of triangle, my isosceles triangle, I'll get a 63 here. I Then I can successfully apply my angle in the opposite segment. Okay, so if you look back, right, I make use of a right angle triangle to find 54 first. After that, I can find the base angle of isosceles triangle. And then I apply the angle sum, uh, the uh, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. So all this property has to be quoted, um, quoted clearly to earn your four marks for this part. Okay, then. Okay, once you have everything already, uh, the second part is to get the parameter of the shaded shape. They simply gave a radius and then you are supposed to find the parameter of the shaded shape. The radius is here. So this one will be the radius. And your job is to find the parameter of the shaded shape. Okay, of course, don't forget whatever that you already have, your angles. Okay, but have a plan first. Have a plan first. So the whole thing is shaded. Like I just now, I color for you. How are you going to find the whole thing, right? I'm going to split the whole thing. So there's this big arc length. So I have this big arc length that I need to find. I also have a straight line that I need to find. I also have another straight line that I need to find. So basically the, the parameter has three parts, the blue color arc, the red color line, 
and the green color line. You must have a plan first. So your parameter has three parts. So once you break down the parameter to three parts, you try to find part by part first. So just now you already went through some of the, the angles. And if you for, don't 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 forget you get the 90 degree here. So actually I am going to use the 90 degree. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use triangle B O E. I'm gonna do my normal tua castle. I'm gonna do by I'm not gonna show you. Okay. If you just look at this right, you can do your normal to a castle to find BE. Okay, I'm quite sure you can find BE if this is the right angle triangle. Okay, I am also going to use this right angle triangle to find OE. Okay, because after I find OE, it will help me to get CE. After I find OE, right, I, it will help me to find CE. I just need to use OE to minus away 8 centimeter. this part. So just by using the green triangle, I will be able to find out the two parts of the parameter. Okay, you can refer to my working, you can give it a try. Okay, then I'm left with the arc length. So if I want the arc length, I will need to find this whole reflex angle which is achievable because just now while I'm solving for the uh, isosceles triangle, I already gotten this to be 54. So the reflex angle for this part will be 360 minus 54, which is a 306. Then I can get this arc length. This arc length will be just 306 over 360 times 2 pi r. The r is 8. So you can work this out. You can leave it in terms of pi. So this, this, and this. So these three parts will add up as the parameter of the shader area. So if some of you are confused by this, break down, have a plan first. So your parameter is made out of three parts. So you go look for it part by part. You can cut your working. Okay, this working is for BE, this working is for OE, this working is for CE, this working is for the art line. Then eventually you add them up. Uh, of course, please add them up as accurate as you can, as many decimal places as you can, so that you don't lose the final accuracy. Okay. 